What's up, insiders? How you guys doing today? Today, I got a little treat for you today. We're gonna do a two for one. We're going over the drag X and S. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. The X is a maximum wattage, single 18650 pod slash mod kit. And the S is a built-in battery, 2,500 milliamp hour, and it goes up to 60 watts. All right, insiders, today we're gonna be unboxing the Vupu Drag S. I have both the S and the X, but I'm gonna unbox the S because I haven't used it yet. You unbox it like that, boom. Got an owner's manual. Here is the actual mod. Check that out, huh? Kind of neat looking. Nice, subtle drag branding. We're going to go over this in a second. Let's check the rest of the contents of the package. Also included in the packaging, you're going to get a Type-C USB cable. All right, that's kind of nice. I like that. You're going to get two coils as well that we're going to go over in more detail right now. You can see some Vupu branding on the coil. All right, now if we turn it over here, it says 0.2 ohm good for 40 to 60 watts this is a mesh coil inside you can see it's got that honeycomb type of mesh all right the second coil you get you can see it's a 0.3 ohm coil this one's good for 32 to 40 watts all right and you can see inside same type of honeycomb mesh just a little higher in the resistance category all right now just to be clear when you buy the X kit, all right, you're going to get the 0.3 ohm coil that I just showed you with the 0.15 ohm coil that's good for 60 to 80 watts. And look how much tighter that mesh is in there. This coil is absolutely banging. This is the best coil among both kits. You only get it in the X kit. And if I were you, I would buy the X kit just because of this coil because this coil is absolutely phenomenal. I like it the best out of all three of them. So just to clear things up, the Drag S gets the 0.2 and 0.3 ohm coil. The Drag X gets the 0.15 ohm coil and the 0.3 ohm coil. All right, so I just want to make sure you're aware of that before you go out and buy this kit. I wanted to be clear about it. All right, so let's get back to the mod. Nice looking mod, man. Check that out. Nice fire buttons, got a little bit of a raise to it. So does the up and down button. Type C charging over here, really, really nice, like that. Nice, bright, vivid screen. We'll go over that in a second. Some more subtle Vupu branding. Vupu, I like that. I like this texture here, really nice kind of texture. And I'm really digging the drag part here for once. I like the fact that it's very subtle. It's not big, bright. They didn't put it in red lettering. Nice job, Vupu. Over here, you have some gene chip branding as well. Now, this is the internal battery one, right? You can see you got these little feet on the bottom here, okay? And this is a 2,500 milliamp hour internal battery, all right? Check out that airflow, though. Nice airflow. See this little knob right here, right? You can close. You can open and close that airflow like that. Kind of nice, man. Got stoppers on both ends. Most of the times I've been running it like a little, like around halfway open like that. Okay. But um, really, really nice job on this. Five clicks off. Five clicks on. You can see, Dan, this thing boots up pretty fast. Okay. The screen is as follows. There's your mode. Right now I'm in smart mode. There's your battery life, lock or unlock, 60 watts, W for wattage. There is the resistance of your coil. I got the 0.15 ohm coil in there. There is your puff counter in seconds. Here is your puff counter. And this thing right here, this iron, they did like a bronze, gold, silver, iron, depending on how many puffs you have and how hard you vape on this thing. They're giving you like little awards down here. Very gimmicky, kind of pissed off that they're taking up screen space 
with such nonsense, okay? I don't like it at all. It really serves no function. I don't need an award for how I'm puffing. Who gives a shit, okay? But it's just, it doesn't affect anything on the performance. They explain it here in the manual. It says they give you a score that's upgraded to different levels depending on how hard, I guess, you vape on this thing. It's stupid, and I really don't want to see that shit on my screen. It is absolutely a con. I have no need for this nonsense. So now let's go over the pod itself. 510 sort of opening. It is an attached drip tip. It does not come off, okay? Pop it off just like that, and you can see it's pretty dry, all right? Now, I will not lie. I do get some condensation, and I'll explain that in a minute. Here is your coil right here, and you have three magnets right there. This one is not a magnet right here. It's like a pin that is holding your fill port gasket in place. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You want to fill this up. You just push it to the side like that, and you fill it up. Nice big opening. I do like that. Needle nose bottles only apply. Once you're done filling it, you just pop it in just like that. But overall, a pretty nice looking tank section. I wish it was a little lighter so you could see the e-juice a little better, but it's not terrible. Let's go ahead and install a coil. Let me show you how it works. Juice we're going to be using today is Johnny's Juice all over her face. It's kind of like a peach nectarine and cream juice. All right. First thing you want to do, you want to take your juice bottle and you just want to prime that coil a little bit. Put a little juice down the middle there, all right? And then just prime your wicking ports. Very, very simple. Just get them started with some juice. Once you're all primed up, take your pod, take your coil, and it's just boom, baby. Plug and play, all right? You just pop it right in there just like so. Once you're done popping it in there, pull your little gasket to the side there. Maybe hold it there with your finger. Take your juice bottle and give it a nice squeeze. Once it's all filled up, take your little gasket, pop it in there, make sure it's nice and flush. And even though you primed it, you might want to let it sit for a couple of minutes. While we're letting that sit, let's go over the interior here, all right? You can see you have three gold-plated contacts right here, okay? You have this ledge. See that? See that ledge right there, right? You have this ledge. And the interesting thing is, see how the coil kind of hangs below, right? When you pop the coil in there, the magnets stick to the ledge, yet the coil makes contact with the contacts. And it's a nice system. I have no issues with it. My only issue is, every once in a while, I get some condensation in here, right? Under here, where I'm showing you. And once in a while, it might build up enough to come out the airflow. What I do is I, I kind of put my mouth over this whole part, and I blow out to get some of the condensation out of there. It's definitely not leaking. It's just condensation because I guess the heat that the coil is generating is generating some condensation underneath here. So I just want you to be aware of that. If you get any type of liquid coming out of here, you know, it's, it's more likely condensation because I have put like four or five coils through these tanks already, and they have not leaked. They've been pretty dry. So now once you're all primed up and you let it sit for a little bit, just pop the tank in there. And you can see it automatically went to 35 watts, right? Because I'm in smart mode. It will not let me go past the 40 watt parameter coil. All right. Now, now you see it's at 40 watts, right? I'm going to take that tank out and I'm going to put the other coil in there, the 0.15 coil. And look. It went right to 60 watts. Okay? So that's kind of cool. It went right to the maximum, and I can adjust it all the way down. Okay? And that's in smart mode. All right? So that's kind of cool. I like the way they, they program this thing. Really nice job on that. So while, while you're in smart mode, it only lets you do the parameters of the coil. If you want to go past those parameters, three clicks, and now I'm in RBA mode, okay? Now you can adjust it any way you want, up or down, okay? 
The internal battery one does max out at 60 watts. The X version, which I'm going to show you in a minute, maxes out at 80 watts and takes a single 18650. Three clicks and you're back to smart mode. Okay. Hit the minus and the fire button together and it clears your puffs. Okay. Hit the plus and the fire button together and it locks the mod meaning you cannot adjust the wattage and you cannot fire it, okay? Hit it again to unlock it. Hit the plus and minus button together and it gives you that familiar puff screen that we've seen on the Gene chip before, okay? If I hit all three buttons together, it brings up the clock feature. Ah, the clock feature is just a pain in the neck. I haven't really said it. But if you like that stuff, feel free to set it. Okay. And that's about it. That's pretty much the whole menu system. Here is the X version of it. I really love this one. I love the red stitching on it. All right. Everything else is pretty much the same. The only difference is this is a little bigger. And this one takes an 18650, a single 18650. You just put the battery in negative side facing the door boom and now you got your screen on okay same menu system they give you the clock in the beginning just hold the fire button you'll go past the clock okay and now you'll notice it's got me maxed out at the 40 watts okay with that coil it does scroll in one watt increments lets you know when you hit max power if I turn it into RBA mode, you can see that the single 18651 goes all the way up to 80 watts. It does not round robin. Back into smart mode, and I'm back down the 40 watts. Let me show them to you side by side. You can see the S is slightly shorter than the X. Honestly, if I got a choice between buying the two, I'm going with the external battery one, the X, every day and twice on Sunday. All right, I figured for a size comparison, a good line to compare it against would be the Vaporesso PM line. This is the internal battery Vaporesso. This is the external battery Vaporesso. You can see very, very similar to the X. The X is a little bigger, but also looks a little nicer, okay? Same thing on the other side here. The S is a little bigger, but again, looks like a more high quality mod. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. I mean, look, the build quality wise, man, I just think the X beats it hands down against the Vaporesso. Same thing on the S, right? It just looks like a more solidly built pod system and both of them vape very much like each other okay but i like the looks of the s much better let's get into those cons and pros first con is going to be the drip tip right the drip tip it's built in it's very comfortable it's very 510 ish i just wish it was removable it's a con no rba vupu no rba in the kit you got an rba mode but you didn't come out with the kit yet. I don't like when companies do that. Should have been included in the kit. You should have gotten it done. It's a con. Now, this next con only happens when I'm vaping the 0.15 ohm coil at maximum wattage at 80 watts. But if I chain vape this thing at 80 mm -hmm. watts, I can feel the heat coming through that plastic. That tip gets a little hot. It's a nitpicky con. Maybe not a lot of people will experience it. But I did, and I got to point it out. Another con for me is, while the S has auto draw, check it out. The X does not. Why? Why'd you put auto draw on one and not on the other? I like the auto draw feature on the S. It's a con. And the last con's going to be, you know... I really didn't want to say anything bad about Vupu because I kind of kill them on their branding all the time. And this time they fixed the branding. But instead, 
they did another stupid thing and put that dumb badge system on the screen. Why is that stupid badge system taking up valuable screen space? Why do I even got to look at it? It's ridiculous. I don't want bronze, silver, and iron badges on my screen that mean nothing to me as a vapor. Give me a break, Vupu. You guys got to be kidding me, man. You got to stop shooting yourself in the foot with stupid stuff. And that badge screen is stupid. It's a big con. Every time I look at that screen, it just annoys me, man. But that's it on the cons. You know, nothing that really got my goat except for that badge system. Let's move on to the pros. First pro is going to be, look at it. It is drop dead gorgeous. It is by far the best looking drag Vupu has ever made, period, end of story. I love the subtle branding on the leather. The leather feels nice in your hand. I like the paint finish on it. I like the screen. I like the looks of this thing a lot. They did a beautiful job on it. Kudos to you, Vupu. I already touched on it. It's got nice build quality. Smooth airflow. Let me show it to you. This is the X wide open. Yeah, baby. Nice and smooth, right? Now, if I close it down like halfway, right? Gets a little loud. But very smooth and a nice restrictive type of pull to it. Staying on that same theme, the airflow is fully adjustable. It comes in some great colors. Did I say I love the looks of this thing? I love the looks of this thing. I like the different leather colors. Big, big pro. I like the capacity on it. It's got a nice capacity. Love that it has Type-C charging. It's very easy to use. Simple menu system. And the last pro is going to be, I love the flavor and clouds on this thing, man. It's just banging, especially on that 0.15 ohm mesh coil. Let me show you what I'm working with. Wide open, 80 watts, maximum wattage. Check it out. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Check that out, huh? Not bad at all, all right? Here is the 0.3 ohm coil, all right? Maxed out at 40 watts on the S. Both of them just vape beautifully. It is a big, huge pro. So that's it, insiders. Those are our cons and pros. Let's get into that five-star rating system. First category is going to be the looks. I already gushed over this thing. I love the looks of it. I'm giving it a solid 4.5 stars. Next category is coil performance. I already told you. That 0.15 ohm coil is just fantastic. The 0.3 and the 0.2 are good as well, but I love that 0.15. I got to ding them a little bit in this department because they didn't include the RBA head. I would have liked to have seen that. Even with the ding, they're still getting a solid four stars. Next category is airflow. It's fully adjustable and very smooth. I got no issues with it. I'm giving them four stars. Now, as far as the value category goes, I've been seeing it anywhere from $40 to $50, depending on which model. Of course, the S is lower priced, the internal battery mod. I got to be honest with you, for the $10 disparity, I would go with the X. I like the fact that you get 20 more watts. I like the fact that you can switch your battery on the fly. I just think it's a nicer mod. It's a little taller but you also get that 0.15 ohm coil. In the value category, I got to give it another four stars. You get a nice vape quality on this kit for the money that you're laying out. We're going to add all these stars up. We're going to come out with a total star count of 16 and a half stars. We're going to take those 16 and a half stars. We're going to divide them by four, and we're going to come up with an average star rating of 4.125, which is probably one of the best ratings I've ever given a pod slash AIO kit. I love this thing. It is 100% deuces jack approved. But if I were you, I'd go with the X, baby.
let's go over some of the specs on the Vupu Drag S. It's primarily made out of zinc alloy and leather. It has a 60 watt maximum output. It measures in at 28 by 33 by 87 millimeters, and it weighs in at 146.6 grams. It has a 4.5 ml capacity, will fire down to 0.1 ohm. It has a built in 2500 milliamp hour battery. Two coils are included in the kit a 0.2 ohm mesh coil and a 0.3 ohm mesh coil. The S also has an auto draw feature. The Drag X is also primarily made out of zinc alloy and leather. It measures in at 95 by 28 by 32.5 millimeters. It takes a single 18650 battery with a maximum wattage output of 80 watts. It also fires down to 0.1 ohms and it will hold 4.5 mLs of juice. In the kit, you get the 0.3 ohm mesh coil as well as the 0.15 ohm mesh coil. Don't forget, insiders, head on over to our Facebook group page. It's a fantastic place. The feed flies. It is very active. We've got over 11,000 members there. Very newbie friendly, very civil. I'm there all the time. I'd love to see you there. We also started a brand new Reddit sub forum under the Vaping Insider name. I'd like to see you there as well. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.